In this video clip, I want to uh, revise the concept of the pKw value, the ion product of water. Uh, again, that is uh, quite something that is fundamental because it eventually gives us the equation for pH plus pOH equals 14. And it tells us how pKa and the pKb value are related with each other. So let's first of all simply write down uh, a reaction with an acid. So an acid plus water gives uh, a proton or H3O plus plus the conjugate uh, acid. And we said we can write for this Ka, the um, equilibrium uh, is given by the equilibrium constant and the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. And usually we don't write the water because it is uh, in here. Um, we can also write the equation for the base. So uh, the base plus water in the equilibrium gives us the conjugate uh, acid plus OH minus. And we can write Kb in this case equals concentration of the acid times the concentration of the OH minus divided by the concentration of A minus. And again, the water is included here. So now let's do something a little bit uh, funny. Let's just simply say what gives, what would happen if we multiply Ka times Kb? What does that give us? So let's just simply uh, follow our equation. So for Ka, I write H3O plus times A minus divided by HA. So that's my Ka. And now I multiply that by Kb, which I've uh, written here, equals the concentration of AHA times OH minus divided by the concentration of the base. And what I see now is that actually HA's cancel out, A minus cancels out. And all I have left is Ka times Kb is the concentration of the protons times the concentration of OH minus. Now we know that in water the concentration of the protons, in pure water the concentration of protons is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. And that is uh, exactly the same concentration of the OH minus. So that's 1 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. So actually what I have here is Ka times Kb equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14, 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the minus 7 gives 10 to the minus 14 molar square. Now I can also rewrite this uh, in that I take both sides of the equation minus log to the basis of 10 and I get minus log Ka plus minus log Kb equals minus log 10 to the minus 14. And in this case, I can't do a unit, but uh, the unit is uh, included here. So let's see what this is. Now this actually minus log Ka, we know that this uh, can also be written as pKa 
plus minus log kb is pkb equals negative log of 10 to the minus 14, that is 14. So what we can say is that the pKa of any acid, and we have, uh, haven't used a specific acid here, that's any acid. So the pKa of any acid plus the pKb of the corresponding base, acid, plus the pKb of the conjugate base is always 14. So if we know the pKa of an acid, we can, with this relationship here, we can very easily figure out what is the pKb and vice versa. So that also explains why we have pH of uh, a solution plus the pOH of a solution uh, always adds up to 14. And that is where this magic number of 14 comes from. Now it's important that this relationship only works if we are dealing with uh, water as a solvent. If we use a different uh, solute, uh, a different environment, then this relationship obviously uh, would be different because then our proton concentration and the OH minus concentrations uh, probably would be very dif different. I hope this makes sense and uh, thank you very much for watching.